Sometimes new future technologies can offer amazing development, with the possibility of changing the future, while also being incredibly creepy. This is one way to describe the idea of necrobotics, which, as the name suggests, involves turning dead things into robots. While this sounds like a plot to a creepy horror film, this is a technology being explored at Rice University. Sand batteries. Sand batteries, an innovative frontier in energy storage, showcase a promising avenue in sustainable technology. At the forefront of this development is the utilization of silicon, a fundamental component abundant in sand, as a pivotal material for creating batteries. This breakthrough capitalizes on silicon's exceptional conductivity and capacity to store lithium, thereby presenting a compelling alternative to conventional lithium-ion batteries. The concept revolves around transforming the humble sand into a crucial element of energy storage. By using nanostructured silicon, engineers and researchers can significantly enhance the battery's efficiency and capacity. The porous nature of nanostructured silicon allows for more significant absorption of lithium ions, enhancing the battery's charge retention and overall performance. Moreover, sand-based batteries offer potential advantages in terms of cost-effectiveness and sustainability. With silicon as a prevalent resource, the manufacturing costs could potentially reduce, making these batteries more accessible for widespread use. Additionally, the eco-friendly nature of silicon-based batteries aligns with the growing emphasis on sustainable energy solutions, contributing to reduced environmental impact compared to traditional battery technologies. Catapulting satellites into space. Who would have thought the best way to get satellites into space was with a makeshift catapult? Okay, it is a lot smarter than a catapult, but the technology exists in a similar way. Spin Launch is a prototype system for getting satellites or other payloads up into space. It does this by using kinetic energy instead of the usual technique of using chemical fuel found in traditional rockets. This technology could be capable of spinning payloads at 8,000 km h and 10,000 g, then launching them skyward through a large launch tube. Of course, small rocket engines will still be required for payloads to reach orbit, but Spin Launch has claimed this system cuts down on the fuel and infrastructure by an impressive 70%. The company has signed an agreement with NASA and is now testing the system. AI Image Generation As artificial intelligence continues to perform jobs just as well as humans, there is a new industry to add to the list. The world of art. Researchers at the company OpenAI have created a software that is able to create images from just worded prompts. Type in, a dog wearing a cowboy hat singing in the rain, and you'll get a host of completely original images that fit that description. You can even choose what style of art your request will come back in. However, the technology isn't perfected and still has issues, like when we gave it poor prompts on designing cartoon characters. This technology known as DAL-E is now its second iteration, and the team behind it plans to continue developing it further. In the future, we could see this technology used to create art exhibitions for companies to get quick, original illustrations, or, of course, to revolutionize the way we create memes on the internet. There is also technology known as Midjourney, a AI image generator that creates gothic masterpieces with a simple text prompt. We are truly living in the future. Brain Reading Robots The realm of brain reading technology, once confined to the realms of science fiction, has experienced a monumental leap in advancement in recent years. Among the array of impressive applications, researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Lausanne, EPFL, have showcased one of the most remarkable and practical demonstrations. Utilizing a sophisticated blend of machine learning algorithms, a brain-computer interface, and a robotic arm, these pioneering researchers have orchestrated a groundbreaking method to empower tetraplegic individuals, those unable to move their upper or lower body, to interact with their environment. During meticulous testing, the robotic arm adeptly executed basic tasks, such as maneuvering around obstacles. A state-of-the-art algorithm, attuned to interpret brain signals acquired through an EEG cap, operated in tandem, swiftly identifying deviations from the user's intended actions. For instance, it could detect instances where the arm veered too close to an obstacle or accelerated excessively. Remarkably, over time, this ingenious algorithm can adapt and fine-tune its responses based on an individual's unique preferences and distinctive brain signals. Envisioning the future, this pioneering technology might lead to revolutionary advancements, including brain-controlled wheelchairs or sophisticated assistance machines meticulously tailored for tetraplegic patients. Such innovations hold immense promise, 
potentially reshaping the landscape of accessibility and autonomy for individuals with severe mobility impairments. Boom-free supersonic flight. NASA's ambitious project, the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Aircraft, is poised to mark a significant milestone with its inaugural test flight scheduled at the Armstrong Flight Research Center later this year. Currently taking shape within Lockheed Martin Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California, the aircraft is undergoing meticulous assembly, shaping its fuselage, wings, and tail with precision. Distinctively engineered, this aircraft's design is tailored to masterfully manipulate airflow dynamics as it soars through the skies. The primary objective? To curtail the cacophonous reverberation of a traditional sonic boom, ensuring that when the aircraft breaches the sound barrier, it does so without disturbing those on the ground below. The pivotal test, should it proceed according to plan, heralds a new era in aviation, as NASA endeavors to conduct subsequent test flights over inhabited regions in 2024. The objective extends beyond mere aeronautical prowess. The space agency aims to gauge the public's response to these advanced aircraft. By witnessing and evaluating the impact firsthand, NASA aims to understand the societal implications and acceptance levels of supersonic flights operating with reduced acoustic footprints. This groundbreaking pursuit not only represents a technological leap, but also signifies a conscientious endeavor to harmonize technological innovation with community well-being. If successful, this venture could potentially pave the way for a future where supersonic travel is not only rapid, but also significantly less disruptive, redefining the possibilities and perceptions of high-speed air travel for generations to come. Artificial Neurons on Silicon Chips Scientists have found a way to attach artificial neurons onto silicon chips, mimicking the neurons in our nervous system and copying their electrical properties. Until now, neurons have been like black boxes, but we have managed to open the black box and peer inside, said Professor Alan Nogare from the University of Bath, who led the project. Our work is paradigm changing because it provides a robust method to reproduce the electrical properties of real neurons in minute detail. But it's wider than that, because our neurons only need 140 nanowatts of power. That's a billionth the power requirement of a microprocessor, which other attempts to make synthetic neurons have used. Internet for everyone. We can't seem to live without the internet. How else would you read sciencefocus.com? But still only around half the world's population is connected. There are many reasons for this, including economic and social reasons, but for some, the internet just isn't accessible because they have no connection. Google is slowly trying to solve the problem using helium balloons to beam the internet to inaccessible areas, while Facebook has abandoned plans to do the same using drones, which means companies like Hyber are stealing a march. They have taken a different approach by launching their own network of shoebox-sized microsatellites into low Earth orbit, which wake up a modem plugged into your computer or device when it flies over and delivers your data. Their satellites orbit the Earth 16 times a day and are already being used by organizations like the British Antarctic Survey to provide internet access to very extreme of our planet. Self-healing, living concrete. In a groundbreaking development, scientists have pioneered a remarkable substance termed as living concrete, created through a blend of sand, gel, and bacteria. This innovative building material not only boasts structural load-bearing capabilities, but also showcases the extraordinary ability to self-heal. This transformative feature distinguishes it from conventional concrete, a material that holds the rank of being the second most consumed substance globally just after water, while also being considerably more environmentally sustainable. The groundbreaking work conducted by the University of Colorado Boulder heralds a new era in construction technology. Their pioneering efforts pave the way for future building structures capable of autonomous repair, capable of mending their own cracks. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.